Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300. Now the most notable features on this GLC 300 is its heated front seats, you also have your backup camera and parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLC 300. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this GLC 300 is its daytime running lights and then if we take a closer look just at your front bumper as you can see you do have your parking sensors and over on the side you have the 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Integrated signal lamps as well as your power folding mirrors and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats. If you take a look on the left hand side here, you have your heated steering wheel and power tilt telescopic steering wheel, light controls. And then if you take a look on the inside of the driver's side door, this is where you'll find your power seat controls with your heated seats, seat memory controls, power folding mirrors with mirror controls, window controls, and window locks. And just like with the driver's side, you'll find them also on the passenger side. Taking a look just at the steering wheel, as you can see, you do have a couple of different options located through here, which include the cruise control. You'll also find your scroll function, volume control, voice recognition, and with Bluetooth connectivity. Now, it does come equipped with the push button start, so all you have to do is push foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, as you can see, you have an exterior temperature gauge with a digital clock. As you can see with the odometer reading, it's uh, sitting just down below your trip info. And if we take a closer look, you have a couple of other additional features inside here as well. So just actually scrolling through, just uh, came uh, popped up finally here. As you can see, you can go through your trip info as well as a couple of other additional features. And as you can see, you can scroll through it using the controls that you'll find just down below here. Taking a look at the touch panel, well I should say the uh, center dash screen, you'll find your phone connectivity as well as a couple of other additional features. You'll use the controls that are located just down below here, so as you can see you can go with your back and home function here, volume control and also your auto stop and start with traction control on and off, but the pad here is what you'll actually be using. So to actually scroll through it just by slowly uh, using your finger going from side to side, You'll be able to go through your main menu controls and then go into your settings menu just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now you do have your temperature control settings located down below there and you'll also find your additional options through here as well with your phone connectivity as well as your hazard lights. If you take a look on the inside here, this is where you'll actually find your power outlet. And then if you take a closer look at the top here, you'll find your SOS Connect along with your light controls, sunglass case holder. And then if we take a closer look just at the backup camera, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines and they're making things much easier for you when you back into a stall. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, if you take a look at the rear bumper, you're gonna find your parking sensors located right across. And then you'll find the rear hatch release located on the back here. And then your backup camera will actually pop up just right here. So the reason why it's actually closed in the inside there is to make it much easier for you if it's actually quite muddy or um, uh, raining out just so that your camera stays uh, clear just when you're actually needing to use it. Now, as you can see, if you do need the additional space, you can fold down the rear folding seat. You also have the carpet cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while going from place to place. You have a little cargo net area just located on the left hand side just in case you want to place some smaller items there. And then if we take a look underneath the floor, as you can see you have your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located.
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, if you take a look at the rear bumper, you're going to find your parking sensors located right across. And then you'll find the rear hatch release located on the back here. And then your backup camera will actually pop up just right here. So the reason why it's actually closed in the inside there is to make it much easier for you if it's actually quite muddy or um, uh, raining out just so that your camera stays uh, clear just when you're actually needing to use it. Now, as you can see, if you do need the additional space, you can fold down the rear folding seat. You also have the carb cover in the back, which is great because you can cover up your valuables just while going from place to place. You have a little cargo net area just located on the left hand side just in case you want to place some smaller items there. And then if we take a look underneath the floor, as you can see you have your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.